Alrighty, what's going on guys? Super Rocker here and welcome back to the channel. Hope we're all staying safe, positive, beef whatever, and overall having a great day, y'all. So yeah, I, I, I wanted to do a tutorial video for a good minute, but you know, your boy's trying to come up with some ideas. And I was like, you know what, let's do a starter house. Uh, this is the first time I did something like this. My last one wasn't too bad, but I was like, you know, I'm going to step up my game. I'm going to do a little better. I'm going to take time to make it look very pleasing, aesthetic, detailed, basically all those important variables that make a starter house tutorial look great for y'all. And I got to see it here, all these camera shots, all these builds and everything that I put into it just looking amazing. And I'm like, wow, if I was y'all right now, I would definitely want to know how to build this. And if y'all guys are, definitely stick around because trust me, you do not want to miss out. But Overall, throughout this video, if you enjoy what you see here, I'll leave a like right down below, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn all notification bell guys to stay updated of all the content I put it here on the channel. And of course, don't forget to leave in the comment section what sort of build you'd like to see for the next Minecraft store video. But without being said, guys, let's go and get right into it. Alrighty, y'all. So before we get into this build, I actually want to show you all the lengths and widths of the build so that way we know the exact measurements. That way, we aren't struggling, we aren't too off track. This way, we can kind of get an understanding of how this build is uh, going to be laid out and built. So if y'all done, we're good. Alrighty then, let's go and get right into the build. Alright guys, so before we get into this build, we need to know exactly what sort of materials we'll need in order to make this incredible build. So this way we aren't too lost to confuse what materials we need and how much we need. So I'll put on the screen right about now, a list of materials will be needed so that way you guys can be prepared in order to make this incredible build. But I will leave this up for just a few seconds, or if y'all need to pause, go right ahead so this way we're all set and ready to go. So without further ado everybody, let's go and get right into it. Alright guys, so to get started with this build, the first thing what we need to do is we need to take out our spruce logs, and we want to do is starting right here, we want to raise these up by four so one two three four one two three four and now what we want to do is we actually want to connect the two like so go ahead and place some logs above that and what we want to do is we actually want to remove the middle block and we want to take the corners right here and make sure the logs are facing down now what we want to do is we want to go on this side and repeat the exact same thing and now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and actually connect these together Go and create another log right here. Kind of give it a little more of the overhang effect for the roof later on. Now the next step we want to do is we want to go ahead and take our spruce wood planks and we want to go in and fill in the front entrance like so. Go ahead and repeat the same thing over here except this will be just a wall. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go and take our stripped oak logs right here and we just want to fill them in within the wall. Now you're actually going to leave both this type of log and this one at three because there's going to be a little of the overhang roof as we've seen within the previous build over there. And we actually want to go and connect these but make sure to leave one block right there. Now for our next step, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and uh, go ahead and fill these in here as well as the walls. Once you've done that, go ahead and take your spruce wood slabs and fill in the windows like so. Following that up, make sure you get your spruce fence gate and surround the window with spruce trap doors. Once you've done that, go ahead and take out your spruce wood stairs and fill in the roof. Go in and take out your spruce wood slabs and fill in the rest of the roof. Now in order to complete the rest of the roof, what we need to do is we need to go in and get rid of these blocks right here. Go ahead and take out your underside staircase and underside slabs. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and start from this side, just fill it in all with underside slabs. Now for these blocks right here, lining up with the stripped oak log, you're going to go ahead and place another slab right here. You will see later on why. Go ahead and place two slabs right there. that and go ahead and place staircases as so. Fill this part in with slabs. So two slabs right here, another slab on top. Go ahead and take out your underside slabs once again and go all the way around. 
make sure that there is at least a two block right there as you will see later on why. Once you've done that, you should have something that looks just like this, y'all. So we'll go and go around, make sure that this looks exactly as the way it should. Just forgot about that. All right, so now for our next step, what we're going to do is actually going to go ahead and take our stone brick walls, take your spruce fence, and we're actually going to go ahead and place them down like so. And you actually want to repeat this all the way around, except for the front entrance right here. What you actually want to do is you want to take a brick right here and a stair, uh, stone brick wall and spruce fence. Sorry about that. Just place it just like so. Eventually, you should have something that looks like this, y'all. Next step, we're going to go and take our spruce wood stairs take our spruce wood slab and our trapdoor and our lanterns. All you want to do is facing towards the spruce fence, place one staircase, make sure to place two trapdoors, place one single spruce wood slab, two more trapdoors, and another staircase. Take your lantern and place it like so. So now your front entrance should look just like that. Alrighty then y'all, so that should pretty much complete the outterior design of the build right here. And now we're going to move along to the interior design. Also for the next part of this build right here, this will be the interior design, uh, you're going to be needing some spruce wood stairs, spruce trap doors, cobblestone, stone, andesite, lantern, smooth stone slab, and spruce trap door. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our cobblestone and we're going to fill this entire floor with it. So this should only take about a few seconds, not too long. Now we're not going to leave the floor like this, we're actually going to give it more detail. So what we're going to do is actually going to use both our stone and andesite blocks and just randomly wherever y'all want. You guys don't have to copy me uh, exactly, but if you want to, feel free. But we're just simply sort of creating a random uh, detail and pattern around here. This way, it's just a boring cobblestone floor, but instead it's more uh, appealing to the eye. So eventually you should have something that looks like this. Now what we want to do is we want to take our spruce wood stairs and we actually want to fill in the inside of the roof right here. Go ahead and head to this part right here and do the same thing. And then go ahead and take your spruce trap doors and fill in like so. Hey guys, so for the first part of this interior, what we need to do is actually have a bed, bookshelf, chest, flower pot, choice of flower, lanterns, smooth soul slab, armor stand, and a choice of armor. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down our bed, place a bookshelf to the right, place a chest to the left, and a choice of a flower. Now go ahead and grab your painting, and pick any painting you want. So in this case, I'm pretty satisfied with that one. Now, of course, we don't want this place to be dim and dark, so don't forget to hang some lanterns as well. So this way, no monsters can spawn. Next thing you want to do is you want to grab your smooth stone slabs, grab your armor stand, and the choice of your armor. Like I said, it doesn't have to be iron armor for just for the sake of this tutorial. We're just going to use this anyway. Now we'll take our smooth stone slab, place it down right here. Take your armor stand, place it down like so, and fill it in with armor. Go ahead and put this back in your inventory for now. Now for next few items, we will be needing barrels, crafting table, smoker, furnace, anvil, cauldron, water bucket, torches, along with a flower pot and a choice of a flower. For this part, all we want to do is take our barrels and place them down like so. Take your furnace, place it down right here, smoker right here, 
and your cauldron along with water bucket. Place a torch right here, your flower pot, and a choice of a flower. Any flower you want. Moving on to the next part of it, we're going to go ahead and grab our trapdoors, our chest. We'll also be needing a carpet. We'll also be needing some slabs, our trapdoors, as we already got right here. And we'll also be needing our doors. And what in the world? Whoopsies. <laughs> My bad. I was like, where did it go? Where did it go? So there it is. That's why we always come prepared and have a chest right there. But anywho, what we're going to do is place our spruce trapdoors right here. As so. Place down two double chest. Then what we want to do next is we actually go ahead and grab the crafting table and anvil. Place the anvil down first and then the crafting table. Take your spruce fence and make sure it is placed in front of the window. Place the carpet of your choice. Take the spruce wood slab and then take the trap door filled in like so. So this way you have a nice little sitting area next to the window. And of course you don't want anything to just be walking in so don't forget to add a door. And that right there concludes the interior of the build, but we are not done yet. No, 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 no. We are not done yet. As I saw within the beginning of the video, we added such amazing things such as gardens, a nice little uh, horse area, pathways, and many, many more. So without further ado, let's go and get into the next segment. All right, guys. So before we go any further, uh, just a quick side note. Uh, make sure these logs are actually facing this forward this way, as well as making sure you're hanging and dead for the roof looks like this. Uh, a little minor adjustment. I forgot the made earlier without the video, but I figured I'll point this out, out so that way our build looks close to the original. So now the first thing we're going to be building is a nice little carrot farm. So go ahead and grab some carrots, bone meal, grass block, iron hoe, and trap doors. So you want to go ahead and place three blocks down like so. Take your trap doors. Go ahead and place the carrots down and farm up with bone meal. Now move on to that. What you want to do is place your spruce fence right here. Make sure to place down two. Make sure you move away from two blocks and place down one right here, one spruce log, and another spruce fence. Place the lantern down and fill this in with spruce trap doors. Move along from that. We're gonna make sure there is a gap right there. We're gonna go ahead and place another fence like so. Now, like I said, this may not look exactly as the original right here, but I'm just giving you guys just an example of what you guys can do right here. So just for sake of it, we can sort of just mix up a bit and do something like this. I said, does that look exactly like the original? But hey, I have to be, think it'll be a nice little touch. Now we'll go ahead and grab our seeds and then we'll grab, we don't need a grass box for this, your bone meal and your iron hoe. Go on ahead and place it down. And really, actually, just as bad it's raining, but no, 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 not today. Watch with the power of editing. And there we go. Oof. Honestly, that pesky weather sometimes it can be really, really annoying sometimes. I'm just like, come on now, I'm trying to do a video here. But yes, after seeing how that distraction is gone, we're actually going to go ahead and make sure that we have a nice little four by three little plant area right here. Go ahead and fill this up with bone meal. That way we can get some crops going. And now moving on from that, what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of some of these items as we don't need them. We will need our campfires. We'll definitely be needing the trap doors. We'll also be needing our lanterns, spruce fence, spruce logs, and our spruce wood slabs, as well as a shovel. You'll see why we'll need a shovel in just a minute. But anywho, let's go ahead and place down three spruce wood fence like so go ahead and brace down a log right here then you want to just raise this up by two with spruce fence then what we want to do is want to go ahead and place down a slab like so and what we actually want to do is we actually want to take our campfires and we want to go ahead and fill them in like so Now take your shovel and actually click L2 or whatever your control is to put out the fire. This is where we give it a nice little cool little wooden style towards it. Then go ahead and take your lanterns right here and hang them in different locations. Go ahead and grab your hay bale, your water bucket, and your cauldron. Place the cauldron right there and your hay bales as so. Go ahead and get your trap doors and place them down as so.
and of course we'll be needing a horse as well and there we go we got ourselves a nice beautiful horse right there so now guys what we're gonna do is go and take these leaves now you don't have to use these leaves right here this is like you know for sake of tutorial but y'all guys can use any sort of leaves you want but if anything uh they're really using like a certain pattern direction more like just kind of just go around and uh add some details with leaves this way it kind of makes the place a lot uh more homier if that makes sense like gives it a more like you know warm vibe feel so kind of just go randomly around uh with the leaves like i said it does not have to be like exactly as i do it y'all guys can do it any way you want but like i said if you wish to follow by me then that's perfectly fine too so something like this i'm pretty easy simple then we'll go ahead and take our iron shovel we'll take our bone meal and we'll simply go ahead and create the pathway first because you don't want to just i don't want to place just the bone meal down first because i feel like um if anything it won't look too good by simply just placing bone meal down first and trying to create a path afterwards uh it would just look weird to me so we're gonna go ahead and just create just simply a random pathway as so to make our way to the garden and then we can have a, another pathway right here I says kind of going and like just kind of go random be random with it and then of course you can place down some bone meal as well look at that y'all this looks absolutely amazing so you have a nice little home right here you also have a nice little carrot garden a place for your horse and of course we look at the inside we have a nice place to cook our food store items repair tools have a place for our armor and a nice place to sleep right here so if y'all guys enjoyed this tutorial right here i definitely encourage y'all to leave a like rating down below hit that subscribe button if y'all are new to the channel and don't forget to turn on all the vacation mode guys to stay updated with all the content i put out here on the channel but overall that is everything i have to say you guys thanks again for watching the tutorial and as always everyone stay safe stay positive before another and remember grind never stops and i'll catch y'all guys in the next one have a great day or night y'all